Hello, this is Henry from Weissman Web, and um, I am going to show you today how to copy elements across pages and also the entire layout across pages using uh, WP Bakery in WordPress. So um, here I am editing a page uh, on WordPress that has WP Bakery installed, and um, I'm going to now copy uh, some elements and some things that I want in other pages. So first, elements are smaller items uh, within your rows. So here's a row right here, and you can see because you can actually change how many columns these, this row has and stuff like that here, and you can actually click the plus sign here to add a column uh, or, or whatever you're trying to do. And um, basically, you know, that's how you know this is a, a, a element. Um, also down here, um, actually this individual section right here is an element as well. The, the sections as well save as elements. So if I were to edit this, um, I can go ahead and click the gear icon and then I can click save as element. Um, but I'm not going to do that one. I'm going to save this element as an element. So if I'm using this across the site in multiple places, I'm just going to click the edit icon and I'm going to click the gear icon and I'm going to click save as element. And I'm going to name it Henry's element. Element might work. Okay, there we go. So uh, I'm going to save changes and I'm going to save. So that's saving an element. I'll show you how to use it in a new post or a existing post right after I show you the rest of how to save uh, the layout and uh, the row. So now if I wanna save the entire row, so say I like this accordion row right here. I have an accordion within a row. So I'm gonna click, um, this is the row right here. I'm gonna click edit on the row and I'm gonna click the gear icon. Now it says something different and you'll always know you're saving a row uh, because it'll say save as template now, not save as elements. So I'm gonna save as template. I'm going to say uh, Henry's Henry's accordion. Oops, I'm not say I probably accidentally saved that, but let's see. Oh no, there it is. Accordion. Row template. I'm going to save changes and save changes. And that's how you save a row, which in this case, I saved all this right here, the whole accordion, but I did not save this right here. Now, if I did want to save this and this, and basically the whole page, this too, every single thing in this entire layout, then I'm going to click this icon, which is templates. And this is what we'll show you later on how to use templates as well. So you'll see our templates that we saved, but I want to show you how to save the whole layout first. So I'm going to click templates. And I'm going to name it. And I'm going to say Henry's layout, and over here and right here, I'm going to save it, save template, and it's also called a template in that case. And you can see here are the ones I saved in case I want to use them, but I don't want to use them on this page because they're already here. I want to use them on a new page. Um, so I'm going to X out of this, and I don't have to save the post. If I save these elements and templates, I don't have to save the post. Uh, as long as I do the things uh, the, that I already did, uh, it should already be saved and you don't need to click update or save on the post. So now I'm gonna go to a new post. Uh, so I'm gonna go to pages. Actually, I'm gonna go to a page, but you can do this on a post or a page. Just So go and create your post or page, whichever one you want. And in this case, I'm gonna do a page and I'm gonna click add new. Now I have a bare page. Um, if your WP Bakery editor isn't showing, sometimes you have to make that show. This is the backend editor I'm clicking here, and that shows this, this right here, which is my WP Bakery. And now I can use the different layouts that I um, created. So uh, here I'm gonna go ahead and do the whole layout first. So I want the whole layout that I copied from the other page, the entire page exactly how it was. So I'm gonna click on that. And here is Henry's layout. If I click on that, it's going to load the page with that entire layout. So you see, I have everything here. I have the accordion, I have this content up here, and I have this content down here. So that's how you go ahead and create a uh, create and use a, the entire layout. And I would go ahead and publish this post or save it if it's an existing post, and that would 
that would be the, the end of it. Or I would edit the things that I need to change after using the template. Because, you know, the template's going to be uh, a base template. There may be things you want to change about it. And then in that case, then you just change it like normal. Um, edit, you know, edit whatever you want to edit. Um, but um, now if I want to add an element, so I have that accordion element. Um, and, or actually, let's add the other uh, template first. So I'm going to go to templates, and you'll see here is the row template that I had, which is going to copy that entire accordion row. So I'm going to click on that. And now I have another accordion. So this is the one that came when I did the entire layout. This is the one that I just added additionally uh, with the, the row template. So I took this entire row right here and added it to this existing page. So the last one, but not least, is using the elements. And that's done a little bit differently. So elements are always in this section, add new elements. Or when you want to put it below another element, it's right here. So if I want to put this element below this element, this one right here, I'm going to put a plus sign right here, and it'll go below it. So you'll see these plus signs wherever you see rows and below and at the bottom of a row and at the top of a row. So if I want to add it to the top of a row, I would click plus here. If I want to add it to the bottom of the row, I would click plus here. And um, if I want to click, click uh, put it to the top of the whole page, I would click plus here and it should go to the top of the page. And at the bottom of the page, I can click plus sign right here and it'll go to the bottom of the page. So I'm going to add it to the bottom of the page. So I'm going to, I think I copied uh, this section on the other page right here. So that should be what we're adding. Uh, so I'm going to click it and put it on the bottom of the page. I'm going to click plus. And this is where you'll find your saved elements right here in my elements. And then here we go. doesn't look right. It, it doesn't like the apostrophe, but um, that is my element right there. And I can go ahead and use it. Uh, if you want to manage elements and delete them or add, or or um, or add see other elements, you can click them in here. You can delete it right here. But I'm going to go back from manage elements to um, oops, I exit out of it. So I'm going to click back to my elements, and I'm not going into manage elements anymore. I'm going to use this, um, and there is uh, my element, um, and. Uh, it looks like it does not save the contents. So, yep, okay. So I guess elements do not save the contents. It just uses that element. So let me check that here, save changes. But it will save, I believe it'll save the, the settings of that element. So let's see, let me try that again. Plus my elements. Yeah, so I guess elements are probably not that useful. I thought it saved the entire thing, uh, the content included, but it looks like it doesn't. So, um, but that should be all that you need to know regarding copying the uh, templates. And uh, basically, the elements are probably not going to be as useful. Okay, so that is basically all there is to know about copying templates. Um, and copying rows via templates and copying uh, the whole layout via templates. Um, the only thing uh, that didn't seem to pan out as well is copying the elements, which I don't think will be very useful uh, considering how it looked. Um, but it is something that is it is capable of doing as well. Uh, that's about it. If you have any questions or uh, need any help with your WooCommerce or your WordPress site, um, go ahead and give us a call at 877-446-9932 uh, or visit our website at weissmanweb.com. That's spelled W-E-I-S-M-A-N-N-W-E-B.com. Uh, that's it. Thank you for, for listening and uh, have a great day.